This video is a demo of how to use tens t torsional loading plus vibration to increase the length of the bone. So basically what I did is I've been doing this for about a month um, th that I'm gonna demo later. And I increased my bone and length, my wingspan um, from about 75 to 75 and one eighths. Um, that's not significant, but if you measure me your wingspan a hundred times and it's always 75 and then all of a sudden it's 75 and one eighths. The wingspan at measurement is very consistent. Um, if you if you do side to side comparisons, you can kind of cheat and make your um, your fingers appear longer and stuff like that. But the wingspan measurement I found was pretty consistent, a consistent way without a, a, a lot of options to cheat. So that's why I'm relying on that measurement, even though I'm only um, loading the left my left hand for now. So one eighth of an inch in about a month is pretty good, but. Um, I've got to have people experiment with the two to make sure that it's reproducible. So the way that it works is that torsional loading, um, basically, uh, increases, comp induces compressive and tensile forces in bone and fluid flows from areas of compression to areas of tension. Um, torsional loading is basically asymmetrical loading and, um, so th this fluid flow flows from areas of tensile to compression. An interstitial fluid flow has the ability to influence every cell in the body, including osteocytes and stem cells. Osteocytes can in induce um, osteoblast and osteoclast activity, so it theoretically remodel the bone to make it longer, or there's a potential that via the stem cells that <clears throat> they could induce changes of bone. And the vibration makes these, these changes of bone as fast as possible. So you have you're, you're, you have areas of compression and tension and vibration is making these changes very rapidly. So it's inducing a lot of fluid flow within the bone. Um, so the, the how we came how I came up with this is that I there was a there's a, a lot of anecdotal a observation that exercises that have a lot of torsional loading like tennis and baseball playing tend to increase bone length even past puberty puberty. Um, and also tennis involves vibration. So, and also vi vibration alone, on its own can have the ability to induce fluid flow. There, there's a lot more to this, but this is more of a demo. So basically what you wanna do is you want to grip the hammer like so. Well, you, you can use a handle grip, but you would need more, more force because it's kind of easy. So I use kind of a pinch grip like this. Um, and the, 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 hot, the farther away you do it at, at the end of the hammer, the more difficult it's going to be. So very strong people may need to use multiple hammers or to use a heavier hammer. You can also grip it like this to get a different force um, or potentially grip like this. So you could do a variety of things, but this is mainly this way has been the mainly the one that has gotten length. Um, but again, I need to get to uh, a quarter of an inch of growth, but it's because it, it's possible that the growth would be like soft tissue. There's, like I said, there's minimal chance that it's measurement error because I measured a hundred times wingspan, always 75 and I always try to stretch as, as far as possible. And it's only when I started doing this method that I got this increase. So I need, I need people to try to reproduce it to make sure that the method is working. So basically what you do is you turn the massage gun on grip on the pinch and you just apply massage and you try to try to move the also add some more mo movement because the more movement there is um the more the more that the fluid is going to flow within the bone um and also you want to be um have as much muscle force as possible because the more the stronger your muscles are that's going to put uh, a force on the endesis a pulling force and that the pulling force on the thesis is going to create additional um, torsional loading forces in bone. The more muscles that are contracting, the more different thesis that are, are going to be pulled. Um, and that's going to create even more torsional forces on the bone. Um, yeah. So what I like to do is I like to kind of rest the massage gun and do, hold this in my left hand and um, just use my right hand on the computer. Um, but you could, you know, um, as for duration, 
it's it's quali quality over quantity because it really um, you you you're doing vibration constantly throughout the day. Um, for example, while driving a car and stuff like that. So low 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 level vibration is not going to be very effective, um, or otherwise people would dri driving cars would be taller. But actually, there there's some studies that show that um, uh, driving a car may make you may have a similar Terry effect on the disc, which I thought was an interesting study. Um, but yeah, it's quality over quantity. Um, so if you do this for one minute and you're holding a very, um, have a lot of muscular contraction and holding a very heavy object, it's gonna be more effective than holding a lighter object for a longer period of time. Um, so yeah, so yeah, if you hold the edge of the hammer, it can be very difficult. So, yeah, I'll leave a comment if you're going to give it a try. I need people to reproduce it to see if this method works. Um, I will keep doing it, and if I get to a quarter of an inch, I'll be sure that it's not measurement error, and I can start screaming it on from, from the rooftops. But for now, um, I need people to reproduce it. So if you could leave a comment.